reality <laughs> TV show with a twist. That's well, right. hang on, never mind that. This is a reality TV with a, a twist, right? This is Richard Madeley in that chair. It's weird. I'm in this I chair. It's all, a bit... it's all sorts of wrong, isn't it, Piers? Yeah. You're yeah. normally my... You're me. It's like I've stepped through the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's got completely bizarre. Right. Do you know what's weird? I was thinking about this this morning. Uh, when I first started out as a newspaper uh, person, one of the very the, first the mirror, things, the mirror, yeah. yeah, and one of the very first things, well, actually, even when I was a showbiz reporter on the Sun, yeah. I used to occasionally appear on Richard and Judy. You used to come up, yeah, that's and right. I used to love doing it. We talk about whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah. and it's weird to now think we Did both. Did you think do you'd this. ever make it, Richard? Oh, abs no, completely. <laughs> I mean, Piers was always a one-off. I mean, but, but people say to me, "Do you know Piers? What's he like? Is he really as bad as he appears on the telly? All of that kind of stuff." You know, you know I'm and here, I say, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say, I've known Piers for like thirty-five. And yes, he's just as bad as he is on the telly. That he was he was ploughing a lonely furrow, and it would take him somewhere unique. Uh, it took him to, took you to America. Mm. He, he, how long were you there for? About five ten, years. About ten years. Ten, ten years. Yeah. And now he's back here, and mm. he's never he's never not made waves, you know. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail here, but I know and I'm going to say this because he gets a lot of flack. He's a, actually a very decent man with a very kind heart. Oh my and god! And you once you once did me a massive favour, which by I won't the way go you weren't able yeah, yeah. to look the audience in the eye when you said. Oh that. no, I didn't. No, that's right. <laughs> I just I looked between cameras. Did you notice that? Yeah, I just <laughs> lost focus a bit, you know. Tell us about being on the circle because extraordinarily <laughs> you didn't play yourself in this strange reality no. show. You played Judy. Not my Judy. <laughs> um, a 27-year-old dizzy blonde called Judy. Yeah, basically, what it is, everybody goes into an apartment block. There's eight players in the circle. They never meet. They're locked down in, in, in their own little, unique, hermetically sealed apartments, and they only communicate through the TV screen, through messaging, right? So they don't hear each other's voices, they don't ever see each other, except for the profile picture that everybody puts up of themselves. And half of them are catfishing. And I learned that catfishing is when you pretend to be someone you're not. Mm. So my, my brief from Channel 4 was to go in as a journalist and sort of analyse it on air as it was unfolding, this, this weird reality game show, and also pretend to be someone I wasn't. And so the viewers decided, and I didn't know who I was going to be, they decided, and I was only told when I got in there, I was going to be 27 years old, blonde Judy. What uh, did it teach you? It taught me that social media can be absolutely real, like in the relationship I developed with Georgina there, this girl who very bravely posted a picture of herself wearing her effectively colostomy bag, bag. Yeah. Iliostomy bag. Um, and that was real, or it can be completely artificial. And it's impossible, impossible, mm. if people play the game well, and I mean the game in the broader sense of, of social media, it's impossible to, to work out who's telling you the truth. I've read that apparently in Japan at the moment, there are couples getting married who've never actually physically met until the day mm. that they get married. They've had a two, three-year relationship online. And, and they think they're and forming this bond. And sometimes one of them is completely making it up. They're yeah. not the person that's... Oh. Now, that, that is true, but sometimes also, I would imagine, that kind of relationship online mm. can get you to know somebody extremely well, far, probably far better than you might if you just met them that's at a, a club. Such a good point. And, and Georgina was the case in point. She and I kind of bonded because yeah. I realised, when I saw that picture of her in the swimsuit, it didn't hit me at first. I asked to see it again about an hour later. I thought, my God, she's wearing a, a bowel bag, basically. And she's doing it to make a statement, to say, look, it's cool. It's, you know, you don't have to be embarrassed if you have to wear one of these things. So I was full of admiration for her, and I got on straight away. And the only bit that I was still pretending when I spoke to her was the mask I had to wear as Judy. But I was speaking as me. And she kind of got that. She sensed that, mm. that it was a real conversation. So we became very good friends. What I love we'll was when friends. you turn up, and yeah. you're not 27-year-old Judy... She's so overwhelmed that she's talking to Richard Madeley I know, it's so funny. because her family love you. Oh, that was... Uh, they cut that up. She, oh, my mum loves you! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that? You think... I mean, they all thought that I might pay them a visit, but actually it was her. And I knock on the door and I go in and uh -huh. they have to keep their back to the person coming in. And I just let it pause mm. for a bit and I went, Hi, Georgie, it's Judy. And honestly, you didn't see that. She just almost mm. dies, you know. Well, but interestingly, because catfishing can be very distressing... Some people do it um, sadistically. So, yeah. yeah, and you could have gone in and she could have said, I didn't want to talk to a guy about Absolutely. these issues, and that's, actually, and, that's and you I, lied to me. I know, and that's why I was at pains to say to her, you saw a bit there, I mm. said, look, I want you to understand something. When we had that conversation, that was me talking. Yeah. I was not lying. Everything else I did was a lie. But Let me was, ask you, yeah. you've been in this game how long? TV. Uh, TV since 1978, so about 40... No, that's not possible, because you don't look older than... <laughs> well, I was going to say, A, you look maybe. ridiculously youthful, which no. I hate you for, obviously. Course, yeah. yes. But secondly, your energy is extraordinary. Yeah. Where do you get it from? <laughs> 
How well, do you sustain it? Well, unlike, unlike you guys, I don't do this five days... Well, you do it mm. three days a week. I don't do it kind of five days a week anymore. I mean, Judy and I did 21 years. We did mm. this morning, and then we did Richard and Judy on Channel 4, and that was full on. But even then, we you were, were like this. You were bursting... Well, I was younger energy. than that. I was ten... I mean, we stopped doing that ten years ago, so I was younger. Yes, but you it's... haven't lessened off in the energy Well, that's because, actually, I've slowed down a bit. I mean, I do, mm. I do your job when, when you're not here. Um, I do a bit of Radio 2, I do a bit of this, do a bit mm. of that, but I have fun. So I, the reason I did that was because I knew it yeah. was going to be fun, you know. So I only say yes to things which I think are going to stimulate me and, I'm, and aren't going to be a drag. You've become a bit of a national treasurer, it has to be said. Oh. How do you feel about that, He speech? says, with um, slight jealousy, I have I do. to say. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Into jealousy in his voice. Although, also with hope in my over... heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very overused expression, that, though, isn't it? I mean, everybody virtually is on television for more than five minutes has become a national treasurer. No. Is, is longevity no. the key, do you think? I think absolutely. If you've, uh, you know, last man standing kind of thing. The people I do admire most in the business, and you're one of them, the people I admire most in the business are the people that have done it for a long time and maintained their quality. Because that's a very difficult thing to do, actually. I think it depends which, which branch of the media you're in. And I think if you're in what, what we all do here, it keeps you refreshed because the stories keep changing. Mm. I mean, like watching the show this morning, I watched it mm. coming in in the car and I watched it in my dressing room and I wanted to be sitting where you guys were yeah. sitting. Yeah. I wanted to be part Debating of it. The well, it's such a good, such a good show today. The yeah. big, big date this month, yeah. October the 31st. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. a huge yeah. Yeah. date in everybody's schedule, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Because you're back on this morning with Judy. We're doing it, yeah. <laughs> I know, we're doing it on... I mean, that's an even bigger day, isn't it? October the 25th. We're, basically, we went to do this morning about six weeks ago to talk about our book club. And uh, the, the regular presenters weren't on, so I took a few liberties and I just nicked the links. So I said, like, here's Laura with the weather, that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. Um, and the viewers liked it. And then Judy got cross and said, look, excuse me, you're not Piers Morgan, I'll have a mm. word here. Mm. Yeah. So she did a couple of links. And the viewers liked it and they said, would they come back and do a show? And Judy's always said no. She's I know. Said she, I'm, she, surprised she will not... I'm not surprised you want to do it. I'm surprised she does. She's, she says no to everything on mm. telly. She's just completely left television. And the editor came around afterwards and said, would you come back and do a show? Mm. Just one-off, just, one just for the hell of it. And she said, yeah, OK. And afterwards, I said, you've always said, what, what happened? And, she, and it was just like the doc in Back to the Future when he puts the letter back together at mm. the end and, and Marty says to him, but you said if you did that, then the space-time continuum would explode mm. and everyone, everything would it's come through. It's going through, Richard. And he said, <laughs> and the doc says, I just figured, what the hell? Yeah. And that was Judy. She said, oh, what the hell? Did it, yeah. I mean, has it given her any fresh impetus to, to do more television? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, honestly, she's just not interested. Yeah. It's, 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 Judy was always the most reluctant television presenter I ever met. Mm. She never really enjoyed it. She, she never really liked being out there. You know, mm. she's, you know Judy, yeah. she's, she's quite yeah. thin-skinned and she's very, very private. Yeah. And yet, despite that, she was the best... With saving your presence. No, I She absolutely was the best TV agree. presenter I ever knew. And ever You've also had a, a remarkably like successful marriage. What's the secret of that? Uh, we, I think luck. I think just find... Well, it is luck, isn't mm. it? If you find the right person and if you're lucky, it's a bit like Ivy growing up the side of a house, I always think. Sometimes it can split and separate. You, nothing you can do about it and you just grow apart. And if you're lucky, you kind of tend to grow in the mm. same direction and you find yourself after 30-odd years still roughly together on the wall, mm. you know? And it's just luck. It's just luck. What would you say is your most annoying habit? Um, tidying up. Um, like if, if well, you're a compulsive, I'm a compuls yeah, yeah. If I come into a room and there's um, this, you know, there's something just left on the sofa, I will pick it up and I'll put it where it should be. Usually, when people are halfway through, Do you know what? doing it, and it drives that, my family mad. I find that quite handy round the house. Yeah. Susanna could do with you. As a Susanna's basically person. quite slovenly. <laughs> So we we you apart. two should be together, it'd be good. <laughs> and those cool. Strictly rumours have reared their head again because people saw you twerking on the circle and they said, look at moment. those moves, That Richard. was my worst moment because I, I obviously cannot dance. Well, we've just seen it on tape. Good, what, and that's, what's that's the difference? more than enough. I what's think, the difference? The difference is that I'm sitting here in a suit and yes. I'm not standing up and twerking my ass to the Quite camera. right, <laughs> Richard. It's not maybe. happening, Susie. Uh, Richard, we've got to leave it there. Great to see you. <laughs> good to see you. And I'll, next time I'll see you, you'll be sitting here, probably. Well, actually, you said we haven't been... We, the last time we met in a studio was... Life Stories, wasn't it? Yes. We did Life Which Stories Which was a together. great episode of uh, Life you were, Stories. Well, that was a really good... No, I loved it. You've had a great career. All great right, life. bromance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Maybe Richard and I should present one of these together. together. A yes. man only. That's yes. a great idea. Great idea. Yeah. A male, shake, shake on it. A male only yeah. GMB. <laughs> because I'm good only, man. You keep was telling me that, that men are going out of fashion. This is one way to There's fight back. There's an extinction rebellion good going on. Good man Britain is coming. I think, I think the viewers men. would love that. Me and saying. Richard Maley, the dream team. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine if it weren't a rating spike. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Ligio to come down and go, Susanna, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> the viewers just want me. I'll, I'll take a couple of million in a payoff and you can get up at 350. Marvellous. <laughs> Richard, oh, yes. great to see you. Richard, good to see you.